we're back at Novi, and we are with, of course, Master Sushi Javiero Talara and Maro. How are you guys doing? You guys hungry? You ready for some? Hungry now. I know. I've been running around all day trying to get the sushi. So uh, we're going to do a quick view of what we have here. Yeah, we have here, like, uh, I think this is made with the brown rice, and the salmon, and tuna, and then inside, uh, club stick, and the avocado. Yeah, this is from Publix, by the way. Yeah. These two rolls here. Yeah, this is also a brown rice and the uh, salmon and avocado inside. Okay. And this is assortment. This are nigiri. Tuna, tuna, salmon, and eel. It with uh, white rice. Okay. And this is also white rice and uh, salmon, cream cheese, and avocado. Inside. Yeah, these two here is actually from Whole Foods. Mm. And this last two rolls from Walgreens. Yes. <laughs> and we're actually gonna uncover it. So let's take off the cover, gentlemen. Sure. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer look at this color here. This is the sushi from Publix. These two rolls as well, and also, right, this nigiri. You see the color, it's not really that deep red. Very light in color, almost like a pink. Uh, this is from Whole Foods. Here we have very similar in the nigiri with salmon and tuna. And this looks like uh, just avocado, salmon and cream cheese. And this of course is from Walgreens. They didn't have any raw fish there. And I know why, just it doesn't probably move at all. And here, you can see that the avocado is already changing colors and today's was the last date actually the 8th mm. this is being filmed yeah. which is today September the 8th which is a Tuesday Publix we noticed that they're using Florida avocado you can tell by how long the avocado is again we always talk about the avocado because it's cheaper than the house avocado not as tasty not as high in fat content and that's it all right gentlemen Let's uh, let's dig in. Okay, here. What's first for you? Okay, I'm gonna go first to with the uh, white rice. I'm gonna go a little bit of wasabi on it. One thing I did want to mention is that once these rolls are made, they're placed in a cooler. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows that sushi rice temperature should be warm. Should not be cooled down, especially in a cooler, to keep everything cold, such as the fish fresh and all that. So that's one disadvantage you have when you're going to supermarkets or Walgreens even to buy sushi. The, the rice is going to be hard and dried out. Definitely not the optimum of what sushi is supposed to be at. So yep, how's the hero? Yeah, actually not, not bad, but uh, rice is good. Yeah, it's, it's cold. It's cold, right? Yeah, it's and it's kind of hard? It's really cold. This is brown rice. Let's try it straight. That's salmon and avocado. Great combination. It's a little bit nice, it's a little bit too, too soft. Too soft. A little kind of mushy. Okay. And then nice is of course cold. It looks like that. It looks like the consistency. Maybe it's too much water in there. Mara, which one did you have? This one. Yeah, the Whole Foods. How was it? It's good. It's not like bad. Like it? Yeah. Like you said, uh, a little bit soft. And the rice? How about the rice? Yeah, not bad. Okay. I think out of the three, definitely the Whole Foods is much better in quality in terms of even the avocado that they use. That's a negative sushi. Right. It's, uh, it's from Whole Foods. Yeah. Of course, you know, the, the shape, shape is like this, you know. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's not really great. Yeah. Mm. Right. But I guess you can't really expect that much. Mm.
How's the salmon? Not bad. Just a little bit, little bit fibery. Okay, a little fibery. Guys, of course, it's cold, you know. Yeah, the rice. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, this is Walgreens. Walgreens, we have a surimi roll. Oh boy, you're going for it. Okay. This is very dry here. What's dry about it? Mm -hmm. It's maybe I don't know. This this place is you know these two places that we seen the uh, chef behind the counter. Mm -hmm. They're making a fresh still. You know, but they keep in the food. But this one actually is not like that. Uh, maybe they some company gonna deliver. Yeah. To you know maybe sitting on the cooler for a long time. Yeah, definitely. We don't know how long. It's probably been there so, for days. You, you can you can you can touch it and it's, you, you, can, you can you can feel it very, very dry. Right. Did you try it? No. Give it to this side. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah this is very dry. And probably you, you can see it. Look, look at this. Mm -hmm. Wait, do that again here. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it's very hard. Even when it hits a plate, yeah. Yeah. it's really dry. You can hear it's like it's got a hard sound to it, like yeah. it's hitting yeah. something hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the rice is all. Mm. It's very dry. Yeah, I don't. So, I don't know if I would eat that. Yeah. Let's look at the California roll here. Can you move these two out of the way? I just want to get a close up of this California roll that's there. This one? Yeah, oh, with those the, two. Behind? Yeah, behind it. Yeah, this is not good at all. And today's the last day that they recommend it to be out on the mm -hmm. cooler to be sold. And just take a look at that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they, I don't think they should be selling that. Even today's the last day. This should have been taken down at least a couple days before that. I don't, I, w I don't think I would eat this. I don't think you should, yeah, I should eat it either. Okay. Anything happens? Uh, no, I ate the two. You ate two already? <laughs> Unbelievable. So, so be careful. Okay, this one. Yeah, this is like a rainbow roll almost. Yeah, like a rainbow roll. This is made with uh, brown rice. The only thing that this one has, the tuna, as you see, it's light in color, very, very light. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing we've been talking about. It's the first sign of the tuna being frozen. It looks like even like a prosciutto. It looks like prosciutto on that. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. And that's not the way the color is supposed to be. It's a hungry. <laughs> Tastes good because we're hungry. Okay, move on to the um, this side of the nigiri sushi. Okay, public nigiri. Yeah, I'm go to tuna. How do you? Yeah, look at this color. Mm. You see, it's very light in color again. You have the eel. You have salmon. How is it? Has white rice. Here, can you turn over the, mm -hmm. the nigiri? Let's look at the white rice right underneath it. We got a lot of rice under there. Mm. That's why this one you can feel more rice, more than this one, you know? Right. Because a lot of rice, and then uh, actually they, they squeeze in very hot. Yeah, so I see that. You can, you can see the rice, as much of the rice. I like rice, it's, it's not a problem to me. But, but uh, so let me get a close up of that. Actually, can you put down, maybe put it on the plate, yeah. Yeah, you can see it. It's, they look like they put a lot of rice and they squeeze it very, very hard. So there you have it, everybody. This is our taste test of ready-to-go sushi from Publix, Whole Foods, and Walgreens. Would definitely give Whole Foods the highest rating. And then Publix. Right. 
and then Walgreens if you want to even consider Walgreens but judging from what you see here I don't think I would get it not at all so well thanks guys it was interesting appreciate you coming along we'll see you in the next episode if you like this video please give us a thumbs up please comment below and please share it see you all very soon bye bye Okay, what's for lunch? Looks great, doesn't it? How you guys doing? What do you recommend? What's the best roll here? The best roll? What do you guys recommend? Huh? Oh, no picture of you? Oh, okay. No picture, I guess.